Google is killing SEO with AI, flooding the web with unreadable data. Add to the mix constantly shifting performance metrics, and staying on track has never been harder for digital marketers. Fortunately, there's a tool that makes navigating all this turbulence much easier. It's called SEMrush. In this SEMrush tutorial, I'll walk you through both the free and paid core features to show you how anyone, even beginners, can start using SEMrush to master the data that really matters. First off, great news, SEMrush offers a wide range of free tools. To access those, you only need to register and choose from a few options to tailor your SEMrush experience. That's it. You can begin using the free tools straight away. Alternatively, there's the free trial, which lets you test out all of SEMrush's premium features for seven days. It's not that long of a trial to be honest, but it's better than nothing. Please note that you will have to enter your credit card details. However, you can cancel at any time before the trial ends and not be charged. So fine by me. Of course, there are paid plans too. No sugarcoating it, SEMrush is a bit pricey, but honestly, that's to be expected for a tool this powerful. The good news, you can choose from plans with different toolkits and add-ons to fit exactly what you need. Let's kick off our SEMrush tutorial by exploring how it tackles one of the most critical digital marketing topics, keyword research. As you can see on screen, our SEMrush keyword research tools are located on the left side of the UI in the SEO section of the platform. It's intuitive and simple to navigate, so you won't get lost even if you're a beginner. Here we're presented with several SEMrush keyword research tools. The first one is Keyword Overview. Here you can get a snapshot of any keyword's search volume, intent, and top-ranking pages. You can also place the keyword location and language. All of this is available for free. On the other hand, the paid version makes the tool even better and more convenient to use with a bulk analysis feature and the ability to overview multiple keywords simultaneously. Another benefit of getting the premium version is the ability to add your website domain and get more personalized data with the help of an AI assistant. One important thing to note is that there is a limit on the number of queries you can do daily. For free users, it's only 10. For paid users, it's 500 or more. This can be a bit limiting for some professionals, so worth keeping in mind. Next up, the Keyword Magic tool. The name makes a pretty bold claim, but does it actually perform magic tricks or is it just smoke and mirrors? With over 26 billion keywords and support for 142 regions, SEMrush can generate up to 20 million ideas per query, which, I gotta give it to them, does sound a bit like magic to me. If you're wondering how to use SEMrush for keyword research, here's the gist. SEMrush lets you enter a seed keyword and then returns thousands of related keyword suggestions. These are grouped by different match types, such as broad, exact, and related. This is great if you're trying to find competitive keywords. However, you're limited to just 10 free searches per day. So if you really want to experience the magic, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. Another keyword research for SEO tool is the Strategy Builder. This one allows you to combine data from multiple sources and organize keyword clusters for your content strategy. This tool is exclusive to the paid plans, so you'll need to get a free trial to test it out. Speaking of data sources, SEMrush has a Google Ads integration. You can connect your Google Ads account with SEMrush to see which keywords drive organic traffic, so make sure to leverage this if you're interested in meaningful data analysis. It is tailored for more advanced users, so I won't go deeper in this SEMrush review. So far, the platform looks great. It offers many tools for keyword optimization and tracking, helping you establish a more prominent presence on the web. But to truly be competitive, you need to know your competition. Conveniently, SEMrush lends a hand here too with its competitive research tools. One of these is Domain Overview, a tool similar to Keyword Overview. As you can see on screen right now, you can enter the domain and location in this field to access various metrics, including top keywords, backlinks, and traffic. Data is king, and all you need to do on your end is enter the link here to make well-informed decisions later. The next feature in this SEMrush competitor analysis arsenal is called organic research. Here you can see insights into your organic traffic and keyword trends. However, with the free version, you can't filter the data by device type. The paid users, by contrast, can do this. So if you need in-depth analysis, going for the premium just makes sense. It makes even more sense when you realize, like I did, that the competitive research section locks entirely after you use up all your free prompts. However, the other free tools were still available. 
Make sure to keep this in mind if you're going for the free version or avoid the issue altogether by activating your seven day free trial with unlimited access by clicking our link below. For me, the bottom line is that SEMrush is a genuinely useful tool for marketers. But what if your project is having issues you don't even know about, ones that are quietly affecting your performance and data? Technical problems are always a pain, but SEMrush can help you diagnose them early and offer solutions to fix them. Let's visit the on-page and tech SEO section right over here, where we can access the site audit tool. Sometimes the reason your page can't be found by Google is related to technical issues. Conducting a site audit will show you any errors found by Google, like low speeds, broken links, or security warnings. I'd recommend conducting an audit here even if you're positive your website is fine and dandy, just in case. With the free SEMrush plan, you're limited to researching only one project. So if you used your free prompt for a test website, tough luck. Something to keep in mind. After the audit's finished, make sure to click on your domain, where you'll be able to see a nicely visualized report with metrics like site health, warnings, pages crawled, and much more. In addition to running a site audit, you can also use the on-page SEO checker to optimize your website. It gives page-specific insights, strategic solutions, technical SEO improvements, and even backlink ideas. To get these recommendations, simply click on the number of generated ideas, like you can see on screen, and you'll be taken to a new window. Here, we can see a report with all the details. All that's left to do now is implementing any changes you think are necessary. Of course, SEMrush has an analysis tool to help you improve backlinks too. Since Google treats backlinks as trust signals, being on top of your backlink game is essential. After all, the more quality sites link to you, the better your rankings. As with other SEMrush tools, let's place the domain name and wait for the results. After those are displayed, we can see that there are quite a few sections to navigate, like the network graph, backlinks, referring domains, and others. Network graph is my personal favorite, though. It's a brilliant way of showing all the website link connections. Full info is only available with the paid version of SEMrush, but I'd suggest checking out this tool even if you're using the free version, as it can still provide substantial insights. You'll be able to see who's linking to you, which pages get the most links, what anchor text they use, and even toxic backlinks that may hurt your project's performance. If you'd like to remove all the limits, just click the link in the description to start your free trial today. There's no risk, and it's a great way to test out this powerful tool. Honestly, what do you have to lose? In total, SEMrush offers over 50 tools, and reviewing them all would take hours, if not an entire video series. The bottom line, start with a free trial before committing to a subscription. Hopefully, this gave you a clearer idea of how to use SEMrush. Go explore it for yourself and see what it can do. Thanks for watching my short SEMrush guide, and I'll see you in the next one.